My body is full of ketamine. Yum. Let's write the uh, remake, sir. There's a trilogy on Steam, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there is now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hey, chat. There's. Would you be down for sometime next year? I would stream Spyro. Yes. Ooh. I assume that everybody would be interested in that. Uh, I would love that. Spyro fan. I love my purple boy. Same. I I'm aware that you're a Spyro fan. I was there in the in the hotel room in 2016, Bliss. Yeah. <laughs> I also remember that my friend figured was watching painfully as nobody could finish the final level until he, in a rage, screamed, "Fine, fuck it, give me the controller." <laughs> I'll do it. Myself. Oh yeah, was that me? It was it was uh you and Nikki actually because you guys could get past and it was my uh my buddy like the super short blonde one he was just sitting there like mm, mm. Bye. oh right so. yeah yeah because I just, can't get past I can't get past that level I just need time he he got super like I have never seen that kid unironically that frustrated with an individual <laughs> or a group of individuals before. Get these old people the fuck out of my game system. <laughs> I remember he clearly like he was like, fine, fucking give me the controller and beat it in like one shot and then got up and left the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, okay, in my defense, in my defense, this was BronyCon, and I was tired. Yes, fair, fair, yeah. but you will not believe where I found him. <laughs> Where'd you find him? I found him at the Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, oh, we traumatized this poor boy so much. He left, walked like, what was it? It was like almost like, what, two blocks down through the mm. to get to We the pissed him off that mm. badly that we made him walk two blocks <laughs> down to a restaurant to drink his sorrows away. He was so pissed. <laughs> fucking, be, fucking, is like, watches people, is like, watches people play Spyro, gets mad, beats Spyro, refuses to elaborate further, becomes an alcoholic. Yep. <laughs> Sounds about right. The other day I was actually talking about that, I was, uh, I was like, hey, do you remember the times we went to Brody County? He's like, oh, you remember, uh, you mean the time that I went and, like, got drunk at the Hard Rock? Yeah. <laughs> Over Spyro. Over Spyro. He was just for me that day. Legitimately, he's like, I remember, like, beating the game, walking out, going to the Hard Rock Cafe, and the next thing I knew, I woke up in our hotel, hotel room. I do not remember anything from, like, 11 p.m. to, like, the next morning. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. <laughs> oh, this poor child. I miss those. Mm. I miss BronyCon. Mm. I do wish it would come back. There, there's been Love talk you, about Con. it. Fuck you, Baltimore. Yeah, there were oh, uh, there was talk about a uh, Brony convention that's being held in Baltimore that's spiritually coming back. The spiritual mm. success. I. King I I can't see how though because you know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I mean, Maybe it's one just, can hope, I guess. It's probably because uh, BronyCon was held at the uh, Baltimore Convention Center for so much. Oh, hello. PC race best makes his glorious return. Oh god. <laughs> well, he never left. Yeah. He's... I know, but he's just like, yeah, let's do it again. Do the run back. More. More. Also, I just oh realized I just destroyed the miracle round. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, you're holding a you're holding the Doom Marine shotgun. I'm not sure what you expected to happen when you were running around shooting stuff. Oh, good God. The Spiral Trilogy is 40 bucks. Nah, uh, don't worry about it. That game is usually on sale, and it'll go down to, like, 15 bucks most of the time. Yeah. So yeah. I wouldn't even... Hey, Rusty Helm, how you doing? But, um... Hey, Rusty. Also, I think he's not up to speed with the, um... Uh, with the stream itself, because I asked earlier if, uh, hey, would you guys be cool if I would do, you know, a Spyro stream? But anyway, uh, there were, like, a few other games that I saw they were on sale. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, sure, I'm getting that. Yeah. yeah. yeah the summer the sale is right around the corner, too. Yeah, the December sale. God, my fucking wallet, dude. Yeah, why don't you just wait till the sale and then you can do it? Yeah. Also, like, I will you say this. I am almost out of my finances, because... <coughs> Car. Yeah, uh, because even though the, um, 
because even though the goal was met, I had to use a huge chunk of it to renew my uh, renter's car because it took a lot longer for the uh, engine to get replaced. Mm. Understandable. Mm, yeah. Um, I chose not to like extend it or anything like that because uh, everybody's already did their part. I wasn't gonna like burden them off of that. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like cars, 600 cars bucks shit, away. Hmm. You got this. Yeah. Cars be shit. Car, cars we got this. Sorry. <laughs> no, you know what be shit? Debt collectors. Uh, yeah. Because I keep getting like I keep getting the like the balance keeps going up. It's all like these interest rates. I'm like, dude, I'm trying to pay this shit off. Give me a break. Fuck this uh, shit off. The uh, the the glorious business of perpetual debt. It's uh, it's a it is a shit business, and I hate it. Remember when we have debtors' prisons? Yeah. Debtors. Listen, it is dead. We're about to pay off our car next month, hopefully. Good. We and taxes. Yeah, there's also taxes. Ugh. Oh no, adulting. One. One thing, I'm not a big fan of the government. No. I'm just not a big fan of adulting. Who? Who's worse, deck collectors or uh, deck collectors? Deck collectors, yeah. Because you can get a good landlord. I have yet to, and especially in the line of work that I'm in, my department <laughs> in the in the veterans uh, department of veterans affairs specifically helps with veterans struggling <laughs> with debt collectors. Um, I have yet to interact with a genuinely virtuous debt collector. I have been able to reason with landlords. I have not been able to to have a like a genuine conversation with a debt collector. It's incredibly ridiculous, too, because sometimes they'll even go after you even after you've already paid off the thing. Wait, yes. what? Yep. I've heard those horror stories. It's called harassment. You can take yeah. it to the small claims court, court over that, too. Mm. Yeah, I'm like, they'll, they'll, there'll be no, like, communication if you're, like, getting a hospital bill and they have a debt collector after you. There'll be no, like, communication between the debt collector and the hospital, and they'll be... I had that... Ugh. I don't even want to go into that whole story, but I had that happen to me. Yeah, that's not it's, a yeah. thing. Yeah, no, it's it's legitimately like I have no doubt that they might exist out there, but I have yet to encounter a, a virtuous debt collector. So uh, for all intents and purposes, they do not exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, like so, some people be like, oh, whatever. <laughs> In finances, gotta get that bag, gotta make that money. Brand Sigma, uh, 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 uh Sigma male training tip number 455. Run away from your problems. Cue the stressed out song yeah. for pilots. Express everything with anger. Wish I could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now I'm stressed out. Yep. <sighs> that, that, that song has more in yeah. the case. No, that's, that's, I, that's accurate. Yep. A genuine mood. Mm. I'm just like, man, I'd prefer. Well, prefer what? I'd just prefer. <laughs> I prefer you back the fuck off. This is why I pref this is why I like the songs involved that soon I'll be 60 years old. <laughs> yeah. Will I have children that will know me? Do you guys know what Wicked is? Are you talking about the play Wicked that now has a movie? Yeah, he was asking if we we're gonna see that or not. Um, I never really was into it. I hear good things about it. It's not that I'm not into it, it's just I don't have time for it. If I yeah, see good I... things when it comes out, I'll go so I see it. Yeah. yeah, I yeah, I'll probably just consume the the general plot synopsis through the songs when the soundtrack's released on Spotify. I mean I'm a sucker for musicals, but yeah. <laughs> I'm a sucker for musicals too, but I go there for the songs. I I really couldn't care less about the plot. Like, yeah. Oh well, what what about Phantom of the Opera? Oh yes, Phantom of the Opera. It's much better as a movie or as a book. It doesn't like the musical is. There, you're there for the songs. You're there to hear Gerard Butler sing in some instances very poorly. Oh yeah, the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. No, like. There is no involved in a musical series right now. It's called Epic. Epic. I need to yeah, look into that. I've heard some songs. Phenomenal. Epic is a Epic is a very good example of hey, you should just 
convert more myths to musical theater. Because yeah. realistically, that's actually how they would have been told back in the day. Like, the story of, uh, what is it? The story of Jason after he returns from his, uh, his quest to get the Golden Fleece. It's literally a musical that was told in ancient Greece. They would have, like, <laughs> singers who would, like, sing descriptive, well, uh, places <laughs> and narrative, uh, structures. Like, well, that were that was kind of the thing with a lot of ancient history with like because people a lot of like the regular folk didn't have the ability to read they would teach them yeah. through song and stuff it was the same with church and christianity where they would teach everybody through singing in the church and stuff you know Poseidon, yeah so it's like Poseidon, and then we all go Poseidon, Poseidon. Poseidon. God damn it. In all my that, years of living, it isn't very often that I get pissed off. I try I to like chill the flames, but damn, I you love cross the cross line. line. I love that been thing. so <laughs> gracious, and yet you, wanna you know why he was gracious? son of mine. That's right. The Cyclops you made blind was mine. No. You know why he was being gracious? Like, like there's a double meaning behind that. Yeah. Okay, so you know, like, the Trojan horse? Yeah. It was a backhanded offering to Poseidon. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. It was built under the inspiration of Athena, but it was genuinely Odysseus being like, so after we kill the Trojans, please don't kill us on our way home. And Poseidon's like, yeah, yeah, well, sure, whatever the fuck, I don't care. No, we, have you seen the animatics for some of these musicals, too? Like, there's one in particular that's our favorite, because Poseidon shapes ships into a horse as a yes. form of mockery against yeah. Odysseus. <laughs> well, that's great. It's not, it's not really mockery. It's because Poseidon is literally the god of horses. Yeah. He's the god yeah. of the sea, the god of the god of earth shakes, and of horses. That's that why the uh, his most famous uh, demigod <laughs> son, Bellerophon, uh, was able to tame the Pegasus. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the story behind that myth. It's because yes. the dude was like, "Oh, my daddy's Poseidon, so I can control horses." Yeah, only in Percy Jackson does uh, being a demigod get you cool superpowers. <laughs> yeah. You know, what's, you know what's interesting you about you know what's interesting about the whole Poseidon being the god of horses thing. Yeah. Uh. I always wondered why in God of War 3, when you fight Poseidon, he summons this multi-headed kind of crab, kind of horse creature to fight you. Because he's but a god of horses. But now it makes sense. It's yeah. all of his motifs <laughs> in one yeah, big fucking title. That was actually, I was going to bring that up actually, the God of War 3 <laughs> fight, where you see all the, the horse stuff. What yeah. the yes, fuck? That's, uh, that's God of War's take on the Hippocamp, which is one of uh one Guys, of hang on a second, animals. hang on a second. What's up? What's up? I shoot oh, that what rabbit. The fuck! I he, shot he's the... like, what the fuck? He's on cocaine. That's what I the shot fuck him. He went flying. <laughs> Lay off the coke, man. Dude is <laughs> fucking losing it. Discla is is like, gonna disclaimer explode. for anyone who works at Twitch, we do not endorse the use of crack cocaine. Dude, I'm <laughs> saying shotguns. the opposite. Lay off the coke, man. <laughs> Listen, I'm totally not saying that we do- I'm totally saying we do not endorse crack cocaine, however, you know, that kick bag really do be looking kind of thick. <laughs> kick, where's that- where's we that also contract? We also do not endorse what Golden's about to do to this little crack. That's it, put well, it out not. of its misery, but that's just me. That's what happened, I, I basically shot it. It's still going, oh. even after leaving! You can hear it. It's so, oh my. God. <laughs> you, you know what it is. What? It's it's comic retribution. It's your sins crawling on your back. You will always hear it. You will never be free. <laughs> I will never be free from this hell. You've done it. And now the will letting you. Horrible fate. Haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> you feel the word fate. I I love how they genuinely like portray Poseidon like in his menacing aspect cuz yeah <laughs> yeah I yeah mean, of the three god three like male brothers like Hades was the only chill one Hades yeah, is, yeah. The, is, the, the is unarguably three. the most reasonable one out of the three yeah. Which is hilarious because they keep making Hades the villain and everything because, oh, he's from the dead place, so he's the yeah. bad guy. It's like, no, he's not exactly you a bad don't... guy, no. Like, Even the Disney's thing people Hercules don't understand is. That. Yeah. Like, 
The thing people well, don't understand is Hades isn't the bad place. Tartarus is the bad place. <laughs> Hades is just the dead place.